Unit 2, Lesson 5, this is the example number 3. So solve for the measure of angle R. R, notice, is not in the same place as the previous two examples that we've gone over. Again, it doesn't indicate to use auxiliary lines, but that's what we're going to use here. So again, variety of ways that you could tackle this. Um, the way I'm going to tackle it is, again, to use Euclid's parallel postulate. So I'm going to draw an auxiliary line through that point, which is the vertex of the 96 degree angle, and that line will be parallel to the given line, so that is what Euclid's parallel postulate says. Let's change that, shall we? It's a little better. So again, through a point not on a given line, or two given lines, you can draw a single line that is parallel to those. So again, we're trying to figure out the measure of angle R over here. That is our objective. We have parallel lines, so we want to use those parallel angle relationships. And remember that angle 96 is this entire angle here. All right, so in order to get angle R, we have a transversal. And we want to kind of break this 96 degrees down. So I'm kind of looking for what this piece will be, because we know that since these two lines are parallel, these will be congruent. So this piece is R. Okay, so I'm going to look at that other transversal we have going on here. And we have 130, but we don't have this piece of the 96 degree angle. However, right here we have consecutive interior angles. which because these two lines are parallel, are congruent, I mean are supplementary. Not congruent, supplementary. When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. Right? If they weren't cut by a transversal, we would not know any relationship between these two angles here. Okay, so 180 minus 130 degrees equals 50 degrees. So we know this blue angle right here is 50. We know in total this red angle is 96. And we know that angle R plus the 50 degrees equals the 96 degree angle. So angle R equals 46 degrees. So this piece is 46, and again using alternate interior angles being congruent when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, these pieces are the same. And that's it for this example.